It is breezy tonight on this Tuesday afternoon evening. The sun hasn't set, so it's still afternoon. We welcome you to the jungle, Tiger Stadium on the campus of Dripping Springs, Texas, where tonight your Dripping Springs Tigers come in with a district record of four and two. Takes on the Matadors from Seguin, out of Seguin, Texas. And folks, with that, we welcome you to Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. I am Melvin Jones tonight. The Tigers play their final home game for the next two weeks as we are on the road for the next four games. And tonight we host the Matadors from Seguin. Tigers have scored 31 runs the past two games, defeating Veterans Memorial on Friday night 11-2. And then without question, the wildest game of the season Saturday afternoon, defeating Lehman 20 to 12 in a game that the Tigers were down 5 nothing at the end of 1 down 7-5 at the end of 2 and they did not trail right after that Brandon Arvison hit two solo jacks and Sam Magajani hit a two run home run in that game once again it was just a wild and crazy crazy game I don't foresee a situation where the home run is going to be hit tonight here in Tiger Stadium. So a lot going on. Tigers and the Matadors all coming up. We'll have a Tiger of the Week as well as pre-game festivities. When we come back to the jungle, it is windy, but we're going to have some nice baseball on a 75-degree Tuesday evening. And you're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Back to Tiger Stadium. The jungle where the wind is blowing in. And I don't see us having any type of home runs tonight. We will send it over to the voice of the jungle, Jeff Goss, for pregame festivities. Between the Matadors and the Dripping Springs Tigers. The starting lineup for the Disney Matadors. Leading off and playing third base, number one, Timothy Belichick. Batting second, the right fielder, number 14, Drew Burnett. Batting third, the catcher, number 17, Corey Mazzarana. Batting fourth, the first baseman, number 20, Eddie Holman. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number nine, Nick Carmona. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, number 24, Henry Peake. The designated hitter will hit for the second baseman, number four, Gabriel Molina. Batting seventh, the pitcher, number ten, Klein Vickers. Batting eighth, the shortstop, number six, Caden Holt. And batting ninth, the center fielder, number eight, Landon Crowe. And the rest of the Matadors. The Matadors are coached by Dusty Britton. He is assisted by Corey Matthews, Wiley Crawford, Esteban Barrera, and Tommy Montoya. 
Now we line up for the home team, Ripping Spring Tigers. Leading off and playing third base, number 11, Aiden Perry. Batting second, the left fielder, number three, Aiden Dennis. Batting third, the shortstop, number 22, Nico Ruedis. Batting fourth, the first baseman, number one, Mason Ashlock. Batting fifth, the pitcher, number 25, Brandon Arvidsson. Batting sixth, the right fielder, number 10, Parker Cook. Batting seventh, the designated hitter, number four, Sam Agajanian. The designated hitter will hit for the second baseman, number six, Jackson Conover. Batting eighth, the catcher, number 21, Matt Schindler. Batting ninth, the center fielder, number 14, Theo Howard, and the rest of the Tigers. The Tigers are coached by Chris Payne. He is assisted by Caleb Reynolds, Tim Clary, and Stephen Skotak. Would you please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Game festivities is now over as we take a look at Brandon Arvison. Big B last Tuesday night in Alamo Heights. He went six, gave up seven runs, but also has seven strikeouts. Still a decent outing for Big B. Our Tiger of the Week this week, and can't be anyone more than Jackson Conover. Jackson. Gave up two runs on Tuesday night pitching. Looked fantastic in his very first district start. Jackson tonight playing second base. But he is our Tiger of the Week. As tonight, Big B faces the lineup coming up of Tim Belichick, Drew Burnett, and Corey Matsuana for Seguin. Matadors come in tonight with a record of 1-5 and five in district play. They were defeated Saturday afternoon, 63 to Bernie Champion. So, one win in six attempts for the Matadors. Maybe be continuing his warm-up pitches. Tigers, four and two in district play. They are tied for third right now. So they are looking to put more of a dent Leading off for the Matador, third base in district standings. Belichick. Here's Belichick coming up to face off against Brandon Arvison for the first time tonight. It's windy, but uh, it's baseball season, folks. Matadors tonight in their black uniforms, gold trim. Your Tigers, burgundy and gold. 6.59, first pitch, and Arvison delivers. That one is high and into the zone for ball one to begin this ball game. Belichick now back in the box. Arvison fires. 
That pitch is a tad bit outside, 2-0 and now on Belichick. We believe that Tim Belichick has some sort of relationship with Bill Belichick. Not exactly for sure what a relationship is, but I think I heard that last season as Arvison is now behind the count. Three balls, no strikes now to Belichick. Here's the 3-0 from Brandon. And that's right down the middle for strike one. Three and one now to Belichick. As Big B, deep breath, fires to three one. And that pitch catches the outside corner for a count now on Tim Belichick. And Arvison with the three two. And that is high and Belichick gets on. Lead off hitter is on now for the Matadors. And here is the right fielder, now Drew Burnett. Right fielder, number 14, Drew Burnett. So Burnett comes on. One on, no outs here in the top of the first. As you can hear that wind just howling. Wind is blowing in tonight here in Tiger Stadium. And that pitch is outside for ball one. Maturana in the on deck circle for the Matadors. As Arvison fires. Nice pitch. Catches the inside corner. Count is even at a ball and a strike now to Burnett. Burnett now back in the box. Belichick with a lead off of first. Arvison checks it. He fires it. And that's low for ball two. Two and one now to Burnett. Here it comes a 2-1 from Big B. He looks over at first, does it again. He fires a 2-1. That pitch is well outside. Three balls and a strike now to Drew Burnett. Arvison, of course, two solo jacks, his first of the year, Saturday afternoon at Lehman. The second one was a beauty. Here's a 3-1. That is high. So the Matadors get the first two hitters on board. No outs. Here comes the catcher in Corey Maturana. Now batting catcher number 17, Corey Maturana. So Maturana comes up with two on and no outs here in the top of the first. Going up against Brandon Arvison. 31 runs for the Tigers the last two games. 11 against Veterans Memorial, 20 against Lehman. And Maturana swings and misses for strike one. Still no outs here in the top of the first. As B fires. Maturana hits it in the left field. It's going foul. Near the call. And they call it a fair ball. As Belichick comes around to score. As Coach Payne now asking for clarification because it looked as though that ball went clearly foul. It was in foul territory as Aiden Dennis nearly came up with the grab. I don't know if uh, Coach Payne is going to win this argument. Courtesy running for the catcher, number seven, Ty Seidenberger. Eddie Holman is up to bat now for the Matadors. And the Matadors gets the first hit and the first run of this ball game, and they lead 1 0. And now the umpires are going to conference amongst each other. 
So he may have this overturn. It was in foul territory, and it came off the glove of Aiden Dennis. So safe call as Masarana now at first with an RBI single. Now batting first baseman number 20, Eddie Holman. Here's Holman now. Two on and no outs here in the top of the first. Crazy call to begin this ball game. Arvison fires. Holman slices one in the center field for a base hit. As Burnett stops at third, and now the bags are full of Matadors, still no outs. Second hit of the inning for Seguin. Now batting left fielder number nine, Nick Carmona. Here's Carmona now. The base is loaded and no outs. And the Matador is already off to a one nothing lead. Carmona now waits for the first pitch of this at bat for Brandon Arvison. And that pitch is high and away for ball one. Big B fires. And Carmona slices it into the back net. Strike one. One nothing Seguin. No outs. Bases loaded. Top of the first. Arvison fires to 1-1. One -one. And that pitch catches the outside corner for strike two. A ball and two strikes now to Nick Carmona. Henry Cheek. In the on next circle for the Matadors. And Carmona slices it and it is foul. That was close. That was closer than the call that was made on Aiden Nittis out in left, left field. Up here, we have a better advantage than probably the umpire. And the ball went foul. But he did give the RBI singing to Maturana. And we stand here one nothing. Arvison fires. Carmona fouls it out of play. Count remains a ball and two strikes. Big B now looking for his first strikeout tonight. Here's the one two. Carmona pops it in the right field. It's going to be in a gap and it drops down. And the run comes in. And the second run comes in, and it is now 3 nothing, Seguin. RBI double for Nick Carmona. Third consecutive hit for the Matadors, and they lead now 3 nothing. Still no outs. As we have a quick mound visit right now going on. Slow starts here has been the detriment to the Tigers. And they have another one tonight. Started off slow last week against Alamo Heights. They trail 4 nothing at the end of one. We have a little bit of a slow start again tonight. Two on, no outs now. For the designated hitter, Henry Cheek. Cheek has runners at second and third. Still no outs and a 3 nothing lead. As Arvison ready for the first pitch and he fires. Cheek, he went around for strike one. 0-1 oh now to Cheek. The opposing pitcher, Klein Vickers, is in the on-deck circle for the Matadors. And that pitch is outside, one and one. Three nothing Seguin here in the top of the first. And that pitch is well outside, two and one now to Cheek. 
Arvison now ready to 2 1. And he fires. Swing and miss for Cheek. Count goes even. Two balls and two strikes. Arvison fires. And Cheek slices one in the left field. That's going to drop for another base hit. And the Matadors take a 4 nothing lead as Homan. Comes across the board. Fourth consecutive hit for the Matadors. And here's Klein Vickers, the opposing pitcher tonight. Matadors now with runners at the corner. Still no outs. Arvison fires. That one's bounces into the dirt. 1-0 now to go, Vickers. Cheek now takes the lead off first. Arvison fires. And Vickers swings and misses for strike one. And it's 1-1 one one now to Klein Vickers. Caden Holtz in the on-deck circle for Seguin. A ball and a strike now to Klein Vickers. And Vickers foul tips it to the back net. Ball and two strikes now to the opposing pitcher tonight. As Arvison steps off the rubber. Tigers were down 5 nothing on Saturday afternoon at the end of the first to Lehman as well. As Vickers slices one foul over to the third base side count remains a ball and two strikes so this is not foreign to Dripping Springs to be down early in this ball game a ball and two strikes to Klein Vickers runners at the corner still no outs here in the top of the first as Vickers fouls it off the back net and the count remains one and two Here's Big B with the one-two. He fires it. Vickers tips it. Matt Schindler throws it over to the first for finally the first out of this first inning. Here's Host now. Two on and one out with Seguin leading for nothing. A strikeout would be fantastic right now from Brandon Arvison. Big B now fires as Holtz fouls it off the back net. 0-1 now to tonight's shortstop. Landon Trost in the ninth hole in the on-deck circle for Seguin as that pitch is inside for ball one. 1-1 one one now to Hayden Holtz. As Arvison fires. That pitch is outside. Two and one out of Holtz. Four, nothing Seguin. One out, two on here in the top of the first. Arvison fires the one, one, two, one. And that pitch is outside. Three balls and a strike now to Caden Holtz. Brandon looking for the second out. He fires the 3 1. And Holt swings and misses. And the count goes full. Three balls and two strikes now to Caden Holtz. As Matt Schindler now. Shaking off some things. Back behind home plate. Full count now on Caden Holtz. One away as Big B fires a 3-2. And Holtz swings and misses. And that exactly what Brandon Arvison was looking for. 
Second out of the inning, first strikeout tonight for Arvison. Here's Trost now. Two on and two outs. Brandon Arvison finally got the strikeout. And first pitch catches the inside corner for strike one. 0 and 1 to Trost. So game leads 4 0 here in the top of the first. As Big B fires the 0 1. And Trost hits it. Aiden Perry, tough play. He throws it over to Mason Ashlock. And the Tigers finally get out of this inning. Four runs off of four hits. And they leave two on. The two Aidens and Nico to begin this ball game for the Tigers. Coming up here in the bottom of the first. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Fight Fly. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. P.A.D. and Nico to lead off this bottom of the first as we welcome you back to the jungle. Seguin leads 4-0. And the Tigers finally up the bat here in the first inning. Klein Vickers, the pitcher tonight for the Matadors. As here comes Aiden Perry to lead off this game for the Tigers. AP in the unfamiliar spot of leading off the game tonight. Aiden Dennis batting second. Nico batting third. Mason Ashlock batting cleanup. Brandon Arvison in the five hole. Batting six. Parker Cook, the designated hitter tonight. Sam McAjanian, he's hit, hitting seventh. Matt Schindler hitting eighth. And batting ninth in his usual hole is Theo Howard as AP looks at strike one. Vickers fires the 0-1. Catches the outside corner, but a little bit too outside. Count is even now to the ball and the strike. AP now, quickly, he's ready. So is Vickers, he fires. That one's right down the middle for strike two. A ball and two strikes now to Brennan, to, to Aiden Perry. Vickers now, ready to 1-2, and he fires. And AP swings and misses, and he gets thrown out of first for the first out of this first inning. Here is AD now, Aiden Dennis, in the two hole tonight for the Tigers. Four nothing quickly, Matadors, as Vickers fires. Aiden Dennis hits one in the center field, and that is going to be caught out in the center field by Trost for the second out of this inning. Nice play out there by the center fielder. Here comes Nico now. No on and two outs here in the bottom of the first. Nico had an outstanding game Saturday against Lehman. Seemed like every Tiger got at least one hit. Now, Vickers fires, and that pitch is low for ball one. Mason Ashlock in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Vickers 
Fires to 1 0. That catches the inside corner, strike one. Klein Vickers quickly. He's already ready. He fires. Same location, strike two. One and two now to Nico. Now Vickers fires the one two. And that was close once again. Evens the count up at two and two. Vickers now the right hander. Fires. Nico slices one at the shortstop. And it is put away that time by Holman. And the Tigers go down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. A very, very quick first inning. The end of one. Matadors lead for nothing. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Four nothing Matadors as we begin the top of the second. Melvin Jones back here with you. Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Top of the order for the Matadors. Belichick, Burnett, and Maturana all coming up to the plate. Belichick tonight got on to lead off the game on a walk. As Arvison now ready to the second inning. Looking for a better second than the first. And the first pitch of this inning is a strike from Big B. 0-1 to Belichick. Here's the 0-1 from Arvison as Belichick fouls it out of play. Count goes to 0-2. Belichick quickly back in the box. Arvison. He likes that one, and he fires it, and that one is low for ball one. One and two now to Belichick. Belichick looks like he's ready. So is Big B. He fires him one, two. Belichick goes down as Matt Schindler grabbed it, and that is the first out of this second inning. Second strikeout for Brandon Arvison. As Drew Burnett comes up for the Matadors. Burnett also walked back in the first. As Big B fires. Belichick hits one dribbler. Brandon Arvison tripped a little bit, but he was able to grab it quickly for the second out of this inning. So quickly two outs as Maserana comes up. Maserana with an RBI single back in the first. Here's the first pitch from Arvison as Maserana pops it foul out of play. 0 and 1 now to the catcher. Wow. 
Much better for, uh, second inning now for Brandon Arvison. As Monterana hits it. As Jackson Conover grabs it. Easy one, two, three inning for the Tigers. And they needed it. No runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on. We played an inning and a half at the Matadors lead for nothing. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Bike Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation. The boredom. The loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Ashlock, Arvison, Parker Cook. Coming up here for the Tigers, we welcome you back. To the jungle, four nothing again. Tiger baseball on Vipe Live. Here is Mace for his first plate appearance of the night. Tigers need some hits and some runs. They trail four nothing here in the bottom of the second. Klein Vickers now back on the rubber. Looks like he's ready to go. So is Mace. Here's the first pitch of the second inning. And that pitch goes outside for ball one. 1-0 one now to Ashlock. Vickers fires. Pitch is well outside. 2-0 now to Mason Ashlock. Brandon Arvison in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. The 2-0 -oh now to Mace. And that pitch is low and away. Three balls, no strikes to Ashlock. The rally starting to begin for the Tigers. Vickers fires a 3-0. And that's outside a four-pitch walk for Mason Ashlock. And the first hitter to get on the base for the Tigers. Here is Brandon Arvison. Big B. Two solo bombs against Lehman on Saturday afternoon, his first two of the year. The second one, he had a bat flip, and he knew it was gone. I don't foresee a scenario where he's going to hit one out tonight with this win, but he does have one on and no outs. As Vickers fires, that pitch catches the inside corner for strike one. Only one now to Brandon Arvison. Parker Cook in the on deck circle for the Tigers. As Vickers looks over his shoulder, he fires. That pitch is high inside. Count is even, and the ball in the strike. Four nothing Seguin here in the bottom of the second. Klein Vickers racing 1 1. Brandon Arvison pops it, foul, and it is going to go out of play. A ball and two strikes now to Brandon Arvison. Tigers have four straight on the road after tonight. We will be in Kerrville Friday night against the Antlers of Tyvee. As Vickers fires the 1-2. And Brandon Arvison gets one. It could be a double play opportunity for the Matadors. And it is 4-6-3 double play. As it put Brandon Arvison out. Two away now 
here in the bottom of the second. As Parker Cook now comes up for the Tigers. Parker was cooking on Saturday afternoon. Three hits. Parker's night playing right field. Klein Vickers and a very def efficient inning in two-thirds so far. And Vickers fires. That pitch is inside for a ball one. One and on down to Parker Cook. Sam McAjanian in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. As Vickers fires. And Parker looks at strike one. Evens the count. At a ball and a strike. Vickers with the 1-1. One -one. Parker slices one. And it's going to be an easy routine play by Holtz. And that will be the end of two. So the Tigers, after a leadoff walk, could not get anything. And at the end of two, Matadors lead 4 nothing. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. It increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. Always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Here in the top of the third for the Matadors as the Indian Lights has came on here in the jungle for nothing. Seguin, Arvison fires and Holman swings and misses for strike one. He swung at absolutely air. On one now to Holman as Big B fires the 0-1. That pitch is in the dirt, 1-1. Sun is about to set in the next 20 minutes here in the Hill Country. Beautiful Tuesday evening, although it is windy. And Holman swings and misses once again. A ball and two strikes to the left fielder. Arvison ready to one two and he fires. Holman swings and misses. And that's strikeout number three now. Yump is calling it foul tip. Once again, we have a better advantage than probably the umpire himself, and he's down there. Nonetheless, count is even now, two balls and two strikes. It's Arvison. Raise the 2 2, and he fires. Swing and misses now, home, and is definitely done on strikes. Third strikeout tonight. For Brandon Arverson. Here comes Nick Carmona. Carmona, one for one tonight. He hit an RBI double to bring home two in the top of the first. First pitch with the at bat. And that is outside for ball one. One and oh now to Carmona. Henry Cheek in the on deck circle for the Matadors. As Big B goes inside, 2-0 now on Carmona. Arvison winds, fires. Carmona hits it 
Good play out there by Conover. And he gets the force for the second out of the inning. Brandon Narverson has calmed down a lot since that first inning. As Henry Cheek comes up for us again. Cheek with a single in the first. Four nothing. As Cheek that time swings and misses. Four strike one. Tigers the slow starts the last two or three games as Cheek swings and misses once again 0-2. Big B readies the 0-2 and he fires and Cheek goes down fourth strikeout for Brandon Norvison and the Matadors goes down in order no runs no hits no errors no one left on at the end of two and a half Matadors lead for nothing you're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all, and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away. But they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. Bottom third of the order. Sammy Sam, Matty Ice, and the sensational sophomore Theo Howard all coming up. Here in the bottom of the thirds, we welcome you back to the jungle. Tigers baseball on Vipe Live. Melvin Jones here with you for nothing again. As here it comes, Agajania. Sam with a two-run home run on Saturday afternoon. His second of the season. As Vickers fires, and that's outside for ball one. One thing about the Tigers, the last two games, their offense is coming alive. Here's the one off from Vickers. Sam swings and misses for strike one. 31 runs between the last two games. 11 against Veterans Memorial on Friday night. 20 against Lehman on Saturday afternoon. Vickers fires the 1-1. And that pitch gets away from Maturana. Two balls in the strike now to Sam McAjanian. As Vickers. Fires the 2 1. Sam slices it over to the shortstop. Another routine 6 3 play for Seguin in the first out of this third inning for the Tigers. Here is Matt Schindler. Matty Ice. Schindler with his first plate appearance tonight. Vickers so far, only one walk. He has a strikeout to his credit as well. And he fires and Shannon looks at strike one. Vickers now with the 0 1. And that's well inside. 1 and 1 now to Matty Ice. Theo Howard is in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Vickers fires as Matty Ice slices it to the third base side. Foul. Nice catch out there. By Coach Payne. Ball and two strikes now to Matt Schindler. Klein Vickers fires the one two. Schindler bounces a high one over the third base. Belichick grabs it 
and he barely gets Schindler for the second out of this third inning. Here comes Theo now. No one on in two outs. Theo. The ninth hole has been his best hitting spot this season as Vickers fires. And that pitch is inside for ball one. Top of the order. And Aiden Perry, if Theo gets on, Aiden Perry is in the on-deck circle. Vickers fires the 1-0. And that time, nice catch by Holman. And that quickly ends the third inning for the Tigers. No runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on. The Tigers with no hits so far at the three. They trail for nothing. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Vickers, Holtz, and Trost as Vickers swings and misses for the first pitch and the first strike of this fourth inning. Brandon Arvison definitely has settled in. Trost, excuse me, Vickers swings and misses for strike two. 0-2 oh now to tonight's opposing pitcher. 4-0 Seguin, top of the fourth. Arvison fires. And Vickers hits it. Nico should be routine, and it is. 6-3 put out for the first out of this fourth inning. Here's Caden Holtz. Holtz tonight struck out back in the first. Brandon Arvison so far with four strikeouts. And that's right down the middle for strike one. 0-1 oh now to Holtz. Arvison fires inside one and one. A lot of moans out there. My Tiger fans thinking that maybe that was a strike. Here's the ball on the strike now. And Holtz hits it. And Aiden Perry, it looked like it hit him off the face. And now Holtz is going to run the second. And Aiden Perry looks like he's shaking up. Tough play out there from AP. As now the trainers are coming out to attend to Aiden Perry. Make sure he's okay. Because that one didn't look that good. It bounced directly off, looks like, his nose. The hope is, hopefully, he did not suffer, like, a concussion. Because that was a true bounce.
And it looks like Sam Agajani is going to take over at third base. AP is up. They're running some tests to make sure he's good and go. Aiden Perry's a tough dude. So it would not surprise me if he tried to stay in this game. Real right now, still trying to make sure that he's good to go. As I said before, Aiden Perry's a tough dude. He's going to stay in the game. Look kind of bleak there, but it looks like he's good to go. See if that's something the Tigers could rally around. Landon Trost now up to bat for again. One on and one out. They lead for nothing. Trost tonight, 0 for 1, grinding out back in the first. Matt Schindler now out having a discussion with Brandon Arvison. Run on second. One out. As Matty Ice hands the ball off to Brandon Arvison. Trost now in the batter's box. And Arvison fires. Trost is showing bunt and Brandon Arvison throw it well past Matt Schindler as Holtz advances to third on the wild pitch by Brandon Arvison. Arvison fires. That pitch is low to win on now on Landon Trost. Top of the order and Tim Belichick in the on-deck circle for the Matadors. Arvison fires a 2 low. There's the pitch that he was looking for. Right down the middle for strike one. Two and one now to Trost. As Arvison fires. Trost swings and misses for strike two. And it evens up the count. Two balls and two strikes. Arvison, that goes in the dirt, and the count goes full now on Trost. With Caden Holtz at third base. Arvison, ready to 3-2, and he fires. And he did go around, so that's strikeout number five now. For Brandon Arvison, two away now here in the fourth inning. Here's Belichick now. Belichick 0 for 1. He did strike out back in the second inning. And Arvison readies the first pitch to Belichick. Belichick swings and misses for strike one. 0-1 now to Belichick. Caden Holtz at third base. Two outs. 4 nothing. Seguin. Brandon Arvison now fires. That's high and inside. 1-1. One one. Big B has definitely settled down since that first inning. 
Only one hit since then. And that pitch is high. Two balls and a strike now to Belichick. Runner on third. Arvison down. 2 1 in the count. And that's lowing into the dirt. Three balls, one strike now to Belichick. Drew Burnett in the on deck circle for Seguin. As Arvison ready to 3 1, and he fires. And that pitch, it was inside, but Belichick gets on. For the five pitch walk. And now the Matadors with runners at the corners. Still two gone. Here's Drew Burnett. Burnett tonight, 0 for 1. Grounding out back in the second. He had a walk in the first. Lefty versus lefty here. Man Armstead looks back at first twice. And that time Burnett steps out of the box. Nice purple sunset tonight. Clouds are in the front coming in tonight. As Burnett swings and misses for strike one. No balls, one strike now to Drew Burnett. Runners at the corners, two outs. Seguin leads 4 nothing. Arvison fires. Catches the outside corner for a strike two. And it's 0-2 now. On Drew Burnett. Brandon Arvison. Fires. That's outside. Matt Schindler doing a fantastic job of staying in front of the ball. A ball and two strikes now. Brandon Arvison looking for strikeout number six. Ahead on the count. A ball and two strikes. Here's the one, two. And did he go? Blue says no, so the count is even now. Two balls and two strikes. Deuces are wild for Drew Burnett. Big B now fires the two, two. And catches the inside corner strike out number six for Brandon Arvison. And that is the end of the inning. One hit, and that is all. And after taking that double off of the face, Aiden Berry leads off in the bottom of the fourth. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. All of us love sports. But not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. In the bottom of the fourth, Aiden Perry, Aiden Dennis, Nico Reddis, all coming up for the Tigers here in the bottom of the fourth. Melvin Jones back here with you. Tigers baseball on Vipe Live. Tigers need the rally. Now 4 0 to the Seguin, a Seguin team who is only 1 and 5 in district play. Prime Vickers is ready for the first pitch of this fourth inning. And that pitch 
is away for ball one. Went it on out of AP. Vickers now. Here's the 1-0. Aiden Perry slices one. Pass first, the first baseman for the first hit of this game for the Tigers. They needed that one. Here's Aiden Dennis. AD 0 for 1. Flying out to center back in the first bit in the first inning. He has Aiden Perry now at first. No outs. Let's see if there's going to be an Aiden Dennis bunt lay down. As AP now, nice lead off of first. And the first pitch. That pitch is outside. 1 0 now on Aiden Dennis. Nico is in the on deck circle. Vickers tosses it back to first. Here comes the Tiger Rally that I know they've been looking for. As Vickers fires the 1 0. Aiden Dennis chops one. Back to the pitcher. Pitcher goes, throws it over the, the head of the second baseman. E1 there. So Aiden Dennis gets on off of the error by Klein Vickers. And with two on, no outs, here comes Nico. Nico now ready to do some damage. As Matsurana comes back behind home plate. Nico steps in the box. Tigers now with two on, no outs. They trail for nothing. But Nico has two on to see what he can do with it. Nico shows bunt. And he lays down a gorgeous bunt. Just gorgeous. And he nearly beats it out. Nonetheless, that's how you move the runners over. One away, and here it comes Mason Ashlock. Mace tonight drew a walk back in the second inning. Runners at second and third, one out. Tigers trail for nothing. But that rally they've been looking for, it's here. As Vickers now. The first pitch at bat to Mace. And that's inside for ball one. One and on out of Mace. Vickers now. The 1 0. And Mace slices one in the left center field for a base hit. AP comes around to score. Aiden Dennis, he's going to come around to score. Mason Ashlock gets tagged out at second base. But the Tigers get two on the board. That is a second out of the inning. 4-2 now, Matadors. Great piece of hitting by Ashlock, but he was tagged out at second. Tigers, though, gets two back. They trail now, 4-2. Here's Big B now. Looking to help his own cause. Arvison Knight grounding into that 4-6-3 double play back in the second. As Vickers now goes outside and low. One and on now on Brandon Arvison. Parker Cook is in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Vickers fires. Brandon Arvison pops it. Foul and out of play. And the count goes even. And the ball in the strike. 4 2 Matadors here. Bottom of the fourth. As Vickers now fires the 1-1. One -one. And Brandon Arvison slices it in the left field, but it is caught out there by Cardona for the third out of the inning. But the Tigers get two back. They now trail 4-2 as we head into the fifth inning. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports. 
But not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Four to Seguin as we welcome you back. Top of the fifth. Melvin Jones here with you. Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Masserana, Homan, and Carmona all do up this fifth inning. Masserana tonight with an RBI single back in the first. He grounded out then in the second. One for two for the evening for Corey Masserana. Tigers doing what Tigers usually do. They rallied. You would never see this team give up. Brandon Arvison now. Ready for the first pitch of this fifth inning. 8 one tonight. Right now as Maserana hits it. And Nico grabs it. Easy play for the first out of this inning. One away. And here is... Eddie Homan. Homan tonight, one for two, single in the first, striking out back in the third. One pitch, one out so far for Brendan Arvison. And that pitch goes inside and low for ball one. Nick Carmona in the on deck circle for the Matadors. As Brandon Arvison goes high with that pitch, 2-0 oh now to Eddie Homan. 4-2 Seguin, top of the fifth. And Brandon Arvison goes well wide, three balls, no strikes now to Eddie Homan. Big B steps off the rubber for just a bit. Here is the 3-0. And a four-pitch walk for Holman, and he gets on. One away and one on now. Here is Nick Carmona. And Carmona had a two-RBI single back in the first. Grounded out back in the third. Four to Seguin. As our scoreboard just went out. The scoreboard looks like it's back. Looks like he looks like the umpire went 0 and 1. Let's see. That pitch is high. Let's confirm that he did go 0 and 1. As the winds are howling. And that pitch is low. Two balls and no strikes. That we know of so far. Count blue. Here's the 2 0 from Brandon Arvison. He fires it. And swings and misses four, strike one. Two and one, two. Carmona. Arvison fires. 
That's high. Three balls and, and a strike. So we did get official confirmation. It is for a full count now on Nick Carmona. Carmona slices it foul off of the net. We're definitely for sure now it's three three balls and two strikes. Four two Matadors. Top of the fifth. One arm and one out. Brandon Arvidsson tonight so far, four runs, five hits, six strikeouts, and two walks. Here's a 3-2. Carmona taps it foul. Count remains three and two. Carmona now. Back in the box. Here's a 3-2 from Brendan Arvison. And that is strikeout number seven for Big B. And the second out of this fifth inning. Now betting. Designated batter number 15, Brendan Arvison. Batting number 24, Henry Cheek. Here's Cheek now. Cheek with RBI single back in the first. He did strike out back in the third. Arvison fires. Cheek swings, misses, strike one. 0 oh and 1 to the designated hitter. Klein Vickers is in the on deck circle for the Matadors as Arvison fires and it hits Cheek. That could have been the wind issue because the wind is really starting to kick up now. So Cheek gets on after being hit by the pitch. Two on and two outs. Here is Klein Vickers. Vickers 0 for 2 tonight for the Matadors. As it looks like Seguin is making a change. As that is number 5. Jeremiah Herrera. Pitch running, number five, Jeremiah Herrera. Herrera's going to pitch run at second base for Holman. There's actually a pinch hitter as well. As that is number 22, Seth Sabalos. Sabalos in for the pitcher, Klein Vickers. And Arvison. Did Sabalos go around? He did not. And that's ball one. Arvison with the 1 0. Savalos pops it, foul out of play. One and one now to sell Savalos. Four to Seguin, top of the fifth. Big B checks back at first base, and Savalos steps out of the box. Caden Holtz in the on deck circle for Seguin. Big B fires in 1 1. And that's right down the middle for a strike two. 1 and 2 now to Savalos. Arvison checks back in second. The 1 2. Got him. And that is strikeout number eight for Brandon Arvison. As Seguin got a walk and a batter hit, and that was all. Time to stretch, folks, here in the jungle. And the Tigers trail 
4-2 as we head to the bottom of the fifth. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation. The boredom. The loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Four two here in the bottom of the fifth. Melvin Jones back here with you. Tigers baseball and Vibe live. Tigers did get two back last inning. Klein Vickers still on the bump. Force again. And here comes the first pitch to Sammy. And that pitch is outside to the backstop. One and zero on Sammy. Parker Cook, excuse me. Sammy is on the on deck circle. And Matt Schindler in the hole. For the Tigers. Here comes the 1-0. And Parker slices it into the net. 1-1. One one. Parker was fantastic on Saturday afternoon. Against Lehman. Three hits. As I said on Saturday, he was cooking. As Vicker fires. Parker slices it foul once again. A ball and two strikes now to Cook. Again, coming into this game, one and five in district play. Your Tigers, four and two. Vickers fires the one, two. And Parker gets the call. Two balls and two strikes now to Parker Cook. That outside corner, Blue didn't give it to Vickers that time. As Parker pops it, and it's high. Is the wind going to catch that one? It does not as Burnett catches it for the first out of this fifth inning. Here's Sammy now. Sammy tonight 0 for 1. Grounding out back in the third. Matadors with a 4-2 lead here in the bottom of the fifth. As Vickers. Fires to Sammy. And Sammy looks at ball one. The Tigers have been ahead of many of these counts tonight against Vickers. As Sammy swings and misses that time, he got nothing but air. Even as the count up at a ball and a strike. Matt Schindler in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Sammy swings and misses once again. He foul tipped it. But he goes down in the count. One and two. Be nice to see S Sammy slice one in the left field into the left field corner right now. For some extra bases. Vickers fires. Sam. That was outside and counting down even. Two balls and two strikes. Good eye there by Sam. Now Sammy lo looks like he's ready. Vickers. With the 2-2. Two -two. And that is inside. Full count now on Sammy. Vickers now. With the 3-2. Sammy fouls it. Over to his own dugout. Count remains. Three balls and two strikes. Go, be ready. 
You hear Sammy pops. Give the encouragement to Sammy. Vickers fires. Sammy dribbles it to third base. S Sammy beat it out. Holman came off of the back. That is an error on the first baseman. Here comes Matty Ice. One on and one out. As Schindler now comes up. Hayden Dunn coming in. The courtesy run. Pinch runner number eight, Hayden Dunn. Hayden Dunn has wheels and will use them. As that wind is starting to blow a little bit harder here in the jungle, Hayden takes a nice lead off of first. And that is close. That was the closest I think I've seen Hayden being picked off all season long. As Matt is getting instructions from Coach Payne. Now Schindler in the box. Vickers fires, and he catches that outside corner for a strike one. Schindler tonight 0 for 1, grounding out back in the second. Vickers fires the 0-1. And it looks like it could be a 4-6-3 put out, and that's exactly what it is. So after the double play, Tigers are retired. No runs, no hits, one error off of the third baseman, but the Tigers could not capitalize on it. At the end of five, Matadors lead 4-2. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all, and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away, but they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. For two Seguin as Brandon Arverson remains out on the bump for the Tigers. We welcome you back to the jungle. Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Melvin Jones here with you. Tigers trail 4-2. Third game in four games that the Tigers have trailed at some point in the ball game. Tonight's no different. Holtz, Trost, and Belichick. All due up this half inning for the Matadors as Brandon Arvison fires. And the first pitch is a strike to Caden Host. 0-1 now to the shortstop. Arvison fires the 0-1. Trost fouls it out of play. No balls, two strikes now to Holtz. Arvison fires. That's outside. A ball and two strikes now to Caden Host. But Landon Trost in the on-deck circle. Arvison fires. 
That is inside. Fans didn't like that one. Believe that was a strikeout. That pitch high inside. Full count now on Holtz. Arvison fires a 3-2, and that is high. Fourth walk tonight for Brendan Arvison. And with one on to no out, here is Landon Trost. Now batting center fielder, number eight, Landon Trost. Trost tonight, 0 for 2. Grinding out in the first, striking out back in the fourth. As Brandon Arvison's night could be done. Still has the ball in hand. Cold cool. Brandon Arvison is going to stay on the bump. Encouraging words from Coach Payne. Trost now with a runner on first. No outs. Tigers trail 4-2. Here in the top of the sixth. Big B looks back at first. Does it twice. Trost shows bunt. And it goes foul. 0-1 to the left fielder. Arvison. Trost shows mine again. That one is high. Nearly got away from Schindler. Evens the count right up at a ball and a strike. Four two Seguin with a runner on first and a one one count to Trost. And Trost didn't get that one. He's down in the count. The ball and two strikes now to Brandon Arvison. Arvison looking for strikeout number nine tonight. Holtz with a leadoff first. Arvison fires. And he got him on the outside corner. And that's strikeout number nine for Brandon Arvison. And the first out of the sixth inning. Now batting third baseman, number one, Timothy Belichick. Here's Belichick now. And it looks like that's going to be it. For Brandon Arvison, Coach Payne wanted to get that, that last batter out. This he was going to get the ball. Looks like Nico's going to get the ball. We'll let Nico take his warm-up pitches. Actually, looks like he was giving it to Nico, but Price Donatello is coming in for the Tigers. We'll let Price warm it up. We'll take a break. Tigers trail 4-2. Matadors with a runner on first and one away. You're watching Tigers Baseball on Vipe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line, too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Price Donatello, the new pitcher for the Tigers, and Price continues. Stone cold Price Donatello. He is cool as ice. Top of the order for the Matadors, Tim Belichick is coming up. He does have a runner on first. One out. Tigers trail 4-2. 
Price hopefully can get these two outs. Wind is blowing in the Tiger Stadium. As Belichick comes up. Belichick has two walks tonight. He did strike out back in the second. Brandon Arvison tonight finishes with nine strikeouts, four walks, five hits, and four runs. As Price delivers. Belichick swings over to Nico. Nico to Jackson. Jackson. Over to Mason Ashlock. Six, four, three, double play. And the Tigers get out of that threat. One pitch, two outs for Price Donatello. That's what we are talking about. We have played five and a half. Sakeen still leads for the two. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vice Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Perry, Aiden Dennis, all coming up here in the bottom of the six. Tigers trail 4-2. Melva Jones back here with your Tiger baseball on Vipe Live as Theo Howard steps up to the plate. Theo tonight, 0 for 1. Theo this time slices it, and he has a hit. Nice job there by Theo to lead off this bottom of the six. Here is the top of the order and Aiden Perry. AP tonight, one for two, striking out in the first. He did have a single in the fourth. Let's see what Coach Payne has up his sleeves. Theo with a nice lead off of first. Vickers tosses it over there. Theo now takes an even larger lead off of first than he had before. As Vickers ready for the first pitch to AP, and AP swings and misses. Theo Howard takes off. Was it foul tipped? No call. Strike one to Aiden Perry regardless, but Theo Howard advances to second base off of the pass ball. Bob Masurana. And now the Tigers with a runner at second. No outs. Here comes the 0-1 to Aiden Perry. Aiden Perry slices it, bounces off of the first baseman. Aiden Perry is going to make it to first. Infield hit for Aiden Perry. Here comes Aiden Dennis. AD tonight 0 for 1. Got on off an error by the pitcher back in the fourth. And now we're going to have a mound visit for Seguin. Tigers with runners at the corners. No outs. Bottom of the six. Tigers could rally, and it will be fantastic. As Ada Dennis is up to the plate with Nico in the on deck circle. There is absolutely no activity right now in 
the bullpen for Seguin. So a long mound visit as Vickers back on the rubber. Matadors lead 4-2 here in the bottom of the six. Aiden Dennis now with a chance to bring at least one home. Vickers looks over his left shoulder. Aiden Dennis shows bunt, and that pitch is well outside for ball one. 1-0 one oh now to Aiden Dennis. AP with a lead off of first. Vickers fires. Aiden Dennis lays down and bump, but that goes foul, and the count goes even. A ball and a strike now to Aiden Dennis. Four to Seguin. No outs. Runners at the corners for the Tigers. Chance to bring home at least one for Aiden Dennis. And Aiden Dennis lays down. That was a beautiful bunt. And Aiden Dennis gets tagged out, but Aiden Dennis was clearly safe. No argument. And Coach Payne is going to argue. That looked safe from up here like he made it before the ball even got there. Coach Payne told him to stop. Because he definitely looked like he beat that throw. Belichick hesitated. And they're going to call him out. Here comes Nico. Two on, one out. Nico, 0 for 2 tonight. But Nico could drive him in. And he knows that. Nico time takes a timeout. Matadors lead four to two. Tigers have runners at second and third. Vickers fires. Nico swings. And it looks like the Tigers will get one across the board. Nico grounds out for the second out of the inning. But he does get another RBI. And now AP is at third. Two away. Tigers down 4-3. Here's Mace. A single with tie this ball game. Ashlock, one for one. He did have a single back in the fourth. Vickers. Fires. And that pitch. Looks like it was low for ball one. One and oh to Mace. Vickers. Fires the 1-0. And that pitch inside for strike one. Count is even at a ball and a strike. Here's Vickers. He was quick with it. He didn't call it. Two balls and a strike now to Ashlock. Ashlock never called timeout. So Vickers just went with it. As Vickers fires the 2-1. Ashlock. Hits it, and it's going to be fair in the right field. And it does sell foul. The wind catches it. Last minute. Mace had a lot of room to run. Aiden Perry could have walked home if that would have stayed fair. So now Mace has deuces across the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Aiden Perry at third base. Vickers with the 2-2. Two -two. And Mace. He's going to have to beat it out. And he does not. And Seguin gets out of that rally. Tigers get one back. They trail now 4-3 as we head to the seventh inning. You're watching Tigers Baseball on Vipe Live.
of the night for Coach Payne. Back here to the jungle. Matadors now lead 4 to 3 as we head here into the top of the seven. Melvin Jones back here with you, Tigers Baseball on Vibe Live. Don't forget Friday night, we travel to Kerrville to take on the Antlers of Tyvee. Coverage will begin at 6.50 with pregame. First pitch, 7 o'clock, right here on Vibe Live. Next Tuesday night, second half of district season begins. We will travel to Buda, Texas. Take on the Jaguars from Johnson. Remember the first game, 30 strikeouts for both pitchers. We could have another duel next week. Same time for pregame, 6.50, first pitch at 7 o'clock right here on Vibe Live. Tigers on the road for the next four games. They will not return back to the jungle until April 14th against Alamo Heights. As Burnett, Mazurana, Holman all do up this half inning for the Matadors. Drew Burnett stepping up to take on Travis Mora. As Mora readies the first pitch of the seventh inning. And that pitch. Just a tad outside. 1-0 now to Burnett. Travis. Looks like he's ready to go. He fires the 1-0. Same location. Same result. Two balls and no strikes now to Drew Burnett. And now Travis fires the 2-0. And Burnett swings and misses as that ball goes to the backstop. Two and one now. Tigers will have Arvison, Parker Cook, Sam McAjanian in the seventh inning. They hope to be down. Still just the one run. Burnett back in the box. Mora fires. Burnett swings and misses. And the count is even now. Two balls and two strikes. Burnett tonight 0 for 2. A walk in the first, ground out in the second, strike out in the fourth. As Travis now with a deep breath, he fires the 2-2. Burnett pops it up, pops it high. Who's going to get it? Matt Schindler with an outstanding catch for the first out here in the seventh inning. Great catch by Matty Ice. Here it comes Maserana. No one on and one out. Maserana tonight. RBI single in the first. Grounding out both in the second and in the fifth. As Mora looks like he's ready. And he fires. Maserana hits it. Easy play for Aiden Perry. One pitch. Second out of the inning. AP with an easy out. Here's Holman now. Eddie Holman tonight. One for two. Single back in the first. Strike out in the third. And then he walked in the fifth. As Travis steps off of the rubber. And calls for Schindler to come talk to him. Tigers are tied with Burning Champion at 4 and 2 in the district play. As Mora, deep breath, ready for the first pitch. And in the slice, Conover grabs it. 1 2 3 inning for the Tigers, and they need it. Brandon Arvison, Parker Cook, Sam Magajanian all coming up. Tigers down to their final three outs. Bottom of the seventh coming up. This is Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. 
It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all, and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away. But they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. Four three Matadors, Brandon Arvison, Parker Cook, and Sam Magajanian. The three that are coming up as the Tigers are down to their final three outs unless they can tie it against Klein Vickers. As Big B now ready for the first pitch and Vickers fires. And that pitch is high for ball one. One and on Brandon Arvison. Big B tonight, 0 for 2, grinding into a double play back in the third, and then flying out back in the fifth. Arvison checks, swings, and excuse me, swing. And that is the first out of this inning, and Arvison is frustrated at himself. Here is Parker Cook. Parker tonight, 0 for 2. As Cook now faces Vickers for a third time tonight. Vickers fires. Parker slices it foul just past Coach Reynolds. Strike one. Sammy Agajanian in the on deck circle. Tigers need a rally to extend this game. And that pitch goes into the dirt for ball one. As Vickers fires. That's high and outside. Two and one on Parker Cook. One out here in the bottom of the seventh. Tigers trail 4-3. And that pitch is low. Three balls, one strike to Parker Cook. Vickers fires a 3-1. That's into the dirt. Parker Cook gets on base, and the Tigers are in business. Here's Sammy. Sammy's 0 for 1. He got on back in the fifth inning off of an, of an error. Tigers looking for a huge rally. Now, Sammy is ready. Vickers looks over his left shoulder at first base. He fires. And that is high and inside for ball one. Five consecutive pitches called for a ball on Vickers. Here's the one on the Sammy. Sammy pops it foul and out of play. Count goes even. One and one. The wind is kicking strong now. As Vickers look at first base again, and that time, Sammy calls time. Vickers, get Sammy. Sammy fouls a gap in the right center for a base hit. Parker Cook is going to stay right there at second. Sam Magajanian with a single. Two on and one out. Here comes Matt Schindler. Matty Ice today 0 for 2. He did ground it out into a double play back into the in the fifth inning. As 
As hard as the wind is blowing out there, it is still 70 degrees out right now. As Vickers look at second, and it hits Matty Ice. And now the bags are full of Tigers. Still one out with Theo Howard coming up. Base hit. Theo Howard could walk it off. Theo, one for two. And now it's like Sammy's going to be pitch run for Luke Hudson. But Luke Hudson's coming in for Sam McAjania. Tigers with the bags juiced. One away. A base hit right now. We'll walk it off. Crowd is into it now. After that offensive explosion on Friday and Saturday, only seven runs total in this game. As Theo now has a chance to end it. Vickers is going to stay out there. But he has the bases loaded. One away. Tigers trail four to three. As Theo now. Ready for the first pitch against Vickers. As Vickers, he fires. And that's inside, and he catches him on the corner for strike one. 0-1 now on Theo Howard. Vickers ready. Theo one. Theo Howard bounces it over the third. Ill-advised play as Parker Cook came home for the second out of the inning. Bases are still loaded. Of Tigers, but AP now has a chance to at least tie this ball game with a base hit. If it's deep enough, he can win it. AP tonight, two for three, two singles. He did strike out back in the first. But AP can't play hero right now. And that pitch is outside, 1-0. I wonder if Aiden Perry is going to make him throw a strike to tie it up at least. Vickers now with the 1 0. And that catches the outside corner to even the count up at a ball and a strike. Luke Hoth Hudson at second base. Matt Schindler at second. And then Theo Howard. On first. Four three Matadors. And that pitch is high. Two and one now to Aiden Perry. Aiden Dennis is in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Two outs. 2-1 to Aiden Perry. AP slices it. Yeah. Man, great play. Yeah. Tight ball game. Aiden Perry. Oh, shit. And now we have a pickle situation. And all the Tigers are safe. Let's see how it's going to be scored. It was a tough play. Infield single for Aiden Perry has tied this ball game.
Austin Wolf now in the ball game hitting for Aiden Dennis. Austin Wolf has the bags loaded. If you hear a scream from the press box, you know who it's coming from. Four four here in the bottom of the seventh. Klein Vickers still out there. There is absolutely no activity in the Matador bullpen. And Austin gets strike one. Only one now to Wolf. Vickers fires. Wolf swings and misses and is 0 and 2. Nico Moretis is out there. He's not an on death circle. He is just waiting. Vickers readies for the 0 2. And he fires. Wolf fouls it back. Count remains. No balls and two strikes. Bases are loaded. Two outs. No balls and two strikes now. To Austin Wolf. Vickers fires. Austin Wolf with a dribbler. And it could be a first and first, and it is. And we are heading into extra innings. But guess what, folks? Tigers have tied this ball game and at the end of seven. For all, what a game, what a comeback. You're watching Tigers Baseball on Vibe Live. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game-winning shot, a photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Top of the eight coming up. Tigers baseball on Vipe Live. Tigers and Seguin are tied at four apiece. As Carmona, Cheek, and Savalos all do up this half inning for the Matadors. As Nick Carmona comes up now for Seguin. Rylan Mahoney on the bump now for the Tigers. And Rylan with the first pitch. And he got him on the outside corner for strike one. Carmona tonight. One for three. He did have an RBI double back in the first. Rylan fires the 0 1. That pitch is well outside. Count goes even 1 and 1. Ryland fires the 1-1. One, one. And nice offensive play by Ryland Mahoney. And he did get him. Good play out there, Ryland. First out of this eighth inning. Henry Cheek now comes up for Seguin. Cheek is one for two. Single in the first. RBI single. And then he struck out back in the second. He was hit by a pitch in the fifth. And he got first pitch strike 
from Riley Mahoney. Only one now. Riley fires. That pitch is outside. One and one. Klein Vickers is back in the on deck circle. He was hit for self, uh, a self Savalos hit for him back in the fifth. But Vickers is back in the on deck circle as Cheek fouls the ball off of the net. A ball and two strikes now to the designated hitter. Here's Ryland now with the one two. And that pitch goes into the dirt. Count goes even. Two balls and two strikes. Mahoney. Here's the 2 2. Cheek fouls it off once again. Count remains. Two balls, two strikes. Four runs off of five hits, two errors for Seguin. Four hits, four runs off of six hits, four dripping springs. Tied ball game here in the top of the eight. Mahoney. Ready to 2 2. Cheek pops it up and it's high. And it's going to be easy play out there for Theo Howard. For the second out of the evening. Brandon Arvison is actually back out there now. Now batting pitcher number 10, Klein Vickers. Klein Vickers back up to the plate. Vickers is 0 for 2 tonight. Of course, Savalos hit for him back in the 50. He struck out. Ryland goes high for ball one. So some... Defensive changes. Brandon Arvison back at center field. Theo Howard looks like he's back at right field. As Vickers foul tips it. Count goes even. Ball and a strike. As you can hear the wind just howling right now. And the ball goes. They said they hit Vickers. So Vickers gets on after being hit by a pitch by Riley. One on and two outs. Now manning shortstop number six, Kaden Holtz. As Kaden Holtz comes up now for Seguin. Courtesy running for the pitcher, number three, Holt Paws. Holtz tonight. One full two. Striking out in the first, doubling back in the fourth. Now Riley. Serves up the first pitch. Holtz fouls it out of play. 0-1 now to the shortstop. Here's the 0-1 from Ryland. And he fires. That's outside. Count goes even at the ball and the strike. A ball and a strike to Caden Holtz in the 4-4 tie ball game. Two outs, top of the eighth. Mahoney fires. And that pitch is into the dirt. Two balls and a strike now to Caden Holtz. Aiden Perry with an infield hit. Bottom of the seventh tied this ball game. And Ryling got that outside corner for strike two. And now Holtz sees nothing but deuces on the board. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Ryland ready to 2 2. And he fires. Holtz fouls it off the net. And the count remains 2 and 2. Tigers are on the road after this until April 14th. They begin this road trip Friday night in Kerrville against Tyvee. Mahoney is ready for the 2-2. He fires it. Holtz once again fouls it. Nice battle going on right now between the shortstop and Riley Mahoney. And the count remains. Two balls and two strikes. Next Tuesday, we head to Buda. Jaguars and Tigers 
Tigers want that revenge against the Jaguars. Ryland, once again, here's a 2 2. And still a battle. Holds fouls off another one. Two balls and two strikes now to Caden Holtz. Runner on first. Two outs. 4-4 four, four ball game. Ryland fires. That's outside and the count goes full now. Ryland now. But the count full on Holtz. Looking to get out of this inning. Here's a 3-2. He fires it. And that is high. And Holtz gets on. Two on. Two outs. As Schindler comes out to talk to Ryland Mahoney. Matadors with two on now. Now Bannock, number 23, Cooper. And hitting now. Landon Trust is number 23, Cooper Newman. As now we have a mound visit. Coach Reynolds out there. Talk on the Ryland. Matadors with two on, two outs. Here in the top of the eight. Four four. After Aiden Perry with the infield single to tie this ball game. Schindler back behind home plate now. Make sure the infielders got their orders. As Newman now steps up to take on Mahoney. Newman pitch hitting for Trost. As Ryland fires the first pitch. And Newman pops it up. Underneath it is Mason Ashlock. And Mace could not get to it in foul territory. Strike one. And Mace had a chance, but there is some fence right there. And he dropped it right before he got to the fence. 0-1 now, Newman. Top of the order. And Tim Belichick in the on-deck circle for Seguin. Ryland. Red is the 0-1. He looks back in second. He fires. And Newman fouls it to the backstop. 0-2 now. Let's see if Ryland can get him a strikeout to get out of this inning. Two on, two outs, and an 0-2 count to Cooper Newman. Ryland now fires the 0-2, and Newman gets it. Nico can't get to it. Goes off the glove. Aiden Perry can't get to it. And the Matadors, they do take the lead. But the runner was tagged out at third. But now the Tigers find themselves behind once again. It is 5-4 Seguin as we head now to the bottom of the eight. Crazy, crazy game. Nico is on deck. Nico, Ashlock, Brandon Arvison all do up. The bottom of the eight. And you are. Watching Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. 
And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Healing for the Matadors as Nico steps up to the plate. Bottom of the eighth. Tigers need a run to tie to extend this ball game. Vickers fires the first pitch to Nico. Nico hits it and it's going to slice. Foul. Only one now to Ruedas. Mason Ashlock is in the on deck circle for the Tigers. 5 4 Seguin. As Vickers fires. Nico fouls it off in the net. 0 and 2 now. As this wind is howling. As Vickers fires the 0 2. And that's low. For Nico, one and two. Nico tonight, 0 for three. He does have an RBI. Here comes the one two from Vickers. And that is high. Evens the count up. Two balls and two strikes. Vickers fires the 2 2. Nico fouls it back off of the net. Count remains 2 and 2. Nico quickly back in the box. Here it comes the 2 2 from Vickers. And Nico hits it high. It's going to go deep. It's going to drop in for bases, for extra bases off of the wall. Is Nico going to drop for three? No, he's going to hold up. Lead off double for the senior. First to the night for Nico. Here comes Mace now with Nico on second and no outs. Ashlock tonight, one for two. Single back in the fourth. Grounding out back in the sixth. He did walk in the second inning. And he has Nico on second and no outs. Vickers fires. And that nearly hit Mace. 1-0 now to Ashlock. Brandon Arverson in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Klein Vickers look at second. And that's inside once again 2 and 0 oh on Mason Ashlock. 5 4 Seguin. Bottom of the eighth. Nico Reddis is at second base. Vickers fires the 2 0. -oh, and that's low. Three balls, no strikes to, Ma to Mason Ashlock. Still no activity going on in the Matador bullpen. Vickers, he's ready with the 3-0. And a last second call on the strike to Ashlock, and the count goes to 3-1. And now Vickers, ready to 3-0. And there is a walk for Ashlock. So Mace gets on for the third time tonight. Two on now for the Tigers. And let's see if we have a pitching change coming for Seguin. It looks like it is. It is going to be 
Looks like Gabriel Molina is going to be the new pitcher. Looks like while Molina goes get his pitching glove. We'll take a break. Pitching change for the Matadors. Tigers with two on. No outs. Bottom of the eighth. They trail 5-4. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Fight Live. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. For Seguin, Kyle Vickers went seven innings, giving up seven hits, four runs. As Molina, as Brandon Norris in the face, two on and no outs. Here in the bottom of the eighth, Melvin Jones back here, Richard. Tiger Baseball on Vipe Live. Klein Vickers had one strikeout. That was the very first strikeout of the game. Nothing since. As Molina looks like he's ready to go. Brandon Arvison, you know he's ready to go. Three walks also for Vickers. Carter Gardner is in the on deck. No, Parker Cook is. Carter Gardner is actually courtesy running. We try to figure out. Carter Gardner is on first base. He is going to be courtesy runner. Nico is still at second base. Here comes Big B now. Runners on first and second. No outs. Extra bases for Brandon Arvison can and will win the game. Big B shows bunt as that pitch goes well over his head. Good thing he was ducking. 1 0 now on Arvison. Parker Cook in the on deck circle for the Tigers. Nico at second. Brandon shows bunt again. That pitch is outside 2 0. Carter Gardner's at first. Tigers down 5-4 in the bottom of the eighth. Molina fires. And that's another ball. Three balls, no strikes to Brandon Arvison. See if Coach Payne is going to give him the signal to swing away on his 3-0. He shows bun again. That's high. Bags are full of Tigers. 
No outs. Parker Cook up to bat for the Tigers. Parker tonight, 0 for 2. He did draw a walk back last inning. He could tie or win the game. Maserano now slowly walking back behind home plate. Arvison at first. Carter Gardner at second. Nico Redis at third. Parker Cook at the dish for the Tigers. No out still in the bottom of the eighth. As Molina fires, that pitch is high. 1-0 and oh now on Parker Cook. And a quick timeout. As Belichick now runs over, says something to Molina. Belichick now at second. Klein Vickers now at third. Molina ready to 1-0. And that's high, and Parker Cook had to get away from it. 2-0 now. No activity. And now the center fielder, Trost, looks like he's coming in to pitch. So after two balls on Parker Cook, we have another pitching change. Landon Trost is not a new pitcher for the Matadors. We'll let him warm it up. As there is no activity in the bullpen. And the coach is just bringing in his infield to pitch. We'll let Trost go ahead and pitch. Bases loaded, no outs, and a 2 0 call to Parker Cook. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Vibe Live. There are no words to describe it. The isolation, the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. As we were having camera issues, the wind is blowing our cameras right now. Bottom of the eight. Bases are loaded for Parker Cook, and Parker Cook is up on the count. 2-0. As Landon Trost now fires, and he gets a strike there, 2-1. Cook now. Two and one. And Parker slices it foul. Two balls, two strikes now to Parker Cook. And that is a ball. Four count now on Parker Cook.
And now Trost fires. Parker dribbles it and is going to go foul. Count remains full on Parker Cook. As now Parker back at home plate. Wind is getting stronger here in the Hill Country. Trost now with the full count on Parker Cook. And Parker fouls it off of the net. And the count remains three balls and two strikes. Bases are full of Tigers. Nico at third. And Nico comes home. They better grab the ball. We have a tie ball game once again. Five all now here in the bottom of the eight. Bases are still loaded. Luke Hudson up to the dish now for the Tigers. Five, five. Carter Gardner now is at third base. Brennan Arvison at second. Parker Cook at first. Luke Hudson looks like he's coming to the bat. You just want to make sure. As Luke now coming in the bat for Sammy. He has the bases loaded. No outs. The winning run 90 feet away. And that pitch is inside for ball one. 1-0 one now to Luke Hudson. Trost fires down the middle for strike one. One and one now on Luke Hudson. Carter Gardner is hoping to get on. Any play in the outfield by Luke Hudson brings home Carter Gardner. Carter Gardner slices it, base it, tires win. Walk it off. Carter Gardner comes in. Luke Hudson, the hero, the Tigers, as a maul. Luke Hudson. Walks it off. And the Tigers, in walk-off fashion, in eight, defeats the Matadors of Seguin. Final score tonight, six to five. Luke Hudson now the hero. We'll take a break to wrap things up from the jungle. Luke Hudson, game-winning hit. And the Tigers walk it off. They defeat Seguin tonight, 6-5. to five. We'll have a quick post-game wrap-up coming up. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Fight Fly. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are, too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all, and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away. But they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League.
of the game as he walks it off for the Tigers. Tigers win the night. 6-0 over Seguin. Seguin came out, and they played hard. But the Tigers was just too much in extra frames. Brandon Arvidsson tonight, five and a third, five hits, four runs, nine strikeouts, and four walks for Big B. As Seguin looks like they have ran out of pitchers and just ran out of steam, Tigers took advantage of them. And after being down 4 nothing at the end of one, Tigers win tonight. Final score, 6-5. to five. What a fantastic performance by the Tigers against the Matadors, who jumped out on them. Third game in the last four, the Tigers was just flat to begin, but they come away with the victory tonight. Special thanks to Josh Cargill, my QA. Friday night in Kerrville. The Tigers take on the Antlers of Tyree. Coverage will begin 6.54 pre pregame. First pitch, 7 o'clock for everyone at Vibe Live. I am Melvin Jones. Good night, everyone from the jungle. You have been watching Tigers Baseball on Vibe Live.